15 seconds before a train is to cross a road, a horn is sounded to warn pedestrians and cars. But the noise isn't appreciated in the nighttime hours. Baxter and Brainerd weigh the option of bypassing the horn altogether. Chris Burns has the story. City of Baxter several years back identified the goal of wanting to be a, designated as a quiet zone. A quiet zone is a section of rail line, at least half a mile in length, that contains one or more consecutive public road and railroad crossings at which train horns are not routinely sounded. Obviously we recognize that the railroad plays an important part of our national economy, including our local economy, and as such there are some disturbances, train whistles at, at overnight and things of that nature that become a disturbance to the residential quality of life. So roughly 10 years ago, city leaders slowly set out the goal of reaching the requirement of becoming a quiet zone. There are six railroad crossings located in the city of Baxter, and they're almost complete. In 2022, we are doing our last project, which is relocating the Knollwood Crossing over to Inglewood. The city of Baxter shelled out a couple hundred thousand dollars to pursue their goal because each crossing needed around a $50,000 investment a payment the city of Brainerd isn't willing to spend. Earmuffs and earplugs are a lot less expensive, so. Of course, O'Day is joking, but in all seriousness, when the quiet zone discussion came up in the last Brainerd City Council meeting, the price was one of the factors. It comes down to two things, safety and money, and uh, it's overall less safe and a lot more money than you'd think it would be. So the city isn't really going to, to push this one. As the chair of the Safety Public Works Committee, O'Day says the horn has proven to be useful. Cars haven't been struck, especially during nighttime hours in Brainerd, and he wants it to stay like that. Reporting in Brainerd for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. Although Brainerd isn't looking to pursue a quiet zone, the city of Baxter hopes to have their clearance in the year 2023. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.